Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to part three of the top ten Pokemon that should get Galarian forms in Pokemon Sword and Shield's upcoming DLC, Isle of Armor and Crown Tundra. As you guys know, we've been doing a few of these videos in the last few days, going through basically what some of the Pokemon that deserve to get basically some love in the you know, upcoming DLC should be. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are back today with part three, and I hope you guys will enjoy this. As per usual, the list is in no particular order, which means that basically you can look at these from any order you want to. It's just some really cool designs from some awesome designers, which will be linked down below as per usual, that I think deserve to get some love. And also, of course, some Pokemon that deserve to get some actual love from Game Freak. Either way, let's get started with number 10. So, kicking off this list, at number 10 is going to be Alolan Dunsparce, or Galarian Dunsparce, if that's what we get here. So this is a design by Smiley Fakemon, who made an Alolan version of Dunsparce that he thinks, you know, would be cool to have. Now, I think this would be even cooler for the Crown Tundra DLC for Sword and Shield. Now, why do I say this? Well, this design here for this Alolan Dunsparce is just amazing, okay? It's got this kind of, like serpent like cloud serpent design to it and as you guys know Dunsparce is a Pokemon that a lot of people do love actually it does does have a little bit of a fan base I mean, actually not a little bit it's got a pretty decent fan base but the biggest issue though is just like not enough people are actually you know uh, just like showing it that love of like actually wanting it to get some sort of like new form but I am one of those people who thinks it deserves a new form I think it deserves to get some love and actually get a Galarian form and this kind of gets that kind of feeling going kind of like a cloud serpent feeling so to say but yeah, that's my thoughts. Let's go to the next one. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the Ekans and uh, Arbuck, of course, ladies and gentlemen. This is by Fatmon, by the way, in terms of design. He made these, and honestly, man, like, what's the deal with Arbuck and Ekans? Like, what's happening with these guys? Like, why aren't they getting any love? Well, here we have a few designs that I think look really cool. The whole Arbuck design with having almost like a face on it's kind of like... Cobra chest, so to say, uh, is really sick, like making it even creepier. And as well with the Ekans, you've got the tail kind of having this like glowy green part and green eyes. I think this looks really cool. Maybe like the way they could make it, like in terms of design, is if it did have like a green tail, maybe that's like to actually illuminate the caves that it hides in or the holes that it hides in because maybe it's so dark. And this could definitely be another one that really fits well in the Crown Tundra. Like maybe it uses these like, you know, features of its body to actually like, you know, survive with its environment. Maybe it's too dark for it to handle it down there and the coldness just makes it even harder with that so maybe that exists to give it warmth and also illuminate the area around it so yeah definitely cool design let's get the next one Next up, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be a design by Skullhaddy, a man that makes a lot of great designs. Next up is going to be Spinarak and Eridos. These are actually really cool. Again, make sure to check out his, his uh, you know, DeviantArt. It's really sick. It's loads of designs there. But here we have, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Spinarak and Eridos, and I think look really sick. Now, he's got a bit more of that, like, kind of like, I'm not really sure what, what like, um, to convert, comp like, compare him to, but I guess, like, um, what's, like, the most dangerous spider, that, like, out there? Like, uh... The Black Widow, I guess, like that sort of like something like that. Actually, no, I'm not even sure if that's the one. Um, tarantula, like kind of like the tarantula vibe is what I'm getting from these with like the black and red, which obviously like is the best combo of colors. Like black and red, like fits so well together, man. Like they look really, really cool. Of course, a little bit edgy, but honestly, really freaking cool. Some of the best combos of colors you can have together, and these designs kind of get that whole vibe going. And I'm just a fan of it, honestly. I like this. And again, another Pokemon I can assume would be in some sort of caves. I know I'm suggesting a lot of caves here, or maybe even could be hiding in like you know like trees and stuff like hiding up there if you know uh, you know maybe it could fit there but it wouldn't really make much sense but if it's the predator of this environment then maybe it doesn't need to like change its colors to you know go against the vibe so to say though I would assume birds would eat them but that's besides the point either way really cool design I love it let's go next one Next up, ladies and gentlemen, is another design by Fatmon, and this is... Oh, God. Okay, so, Alolan, Venonat, and Venomoth, but again, another design that I think works for the other stuff. Now, what am I talking about here? Well, first of all, this illuminated kind of, like, rainbowy color on Venonat and almost like, you know, see-through thing with it. Like, it's almost like a see-through Venonat, almost, if you look at it, right? That, I think, looks really cool, and it would really fit in the Crown Tundra, since it is essentially a tundra. It's cold. It's, you know, it's gonna be a lot of ice all over the place, right? And it having this kind of illuminated feeling maybe actually makes it life easier, where it's not as easily going to be found by predators, right? And then once it evolves, it doesn't really need to worry about that as much, because it's gonna be bigger, it's gonna be able to fly, it's gonna be able to defend itself, and also its color's gonna be white, so it's gonna be able to essentially just hide 
hide in mountains or in the snow and just not worry about any sort of like stuff like that. So definitely one that would fit well into the theme and honestly a design that I think looks really, really cool. Next up is another design by Skull Hattie, and here we have Granbull as well as it. Pre-evolution, and oh boy. So, uh, again, another Pokemon, in my opinion, that just doesn't seem to get a lot of attention. I mean, let's be honest, like, when was the last time you saw these guys mentioned anywhere, or really shown up anywhere? I mean, I think, like, maybe in, like, Detective Pikachu they showed up and probably got a little bit of love, but beyond that, like... Man, like Gramble and you know, they, they need some they need some love, man. They really need some love. And this design, it's kind of cutesy. I think people would really like it. Um, if they were like this, kind of like cute, pinkish, uh, more or less, but like, you know, not like the, the normal kind of like purple pink kind of color, but more like a kind of like a cute, cute, like almost pug design, right? And since like we're, you know, Galar is the UK, it would make a lot of sense to have that sort of thing, right? You know, it just makes sense in my opinion. But what do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments. But let's get to the next one. So, ladies and gentlemen, as I mentioned in the previous part, we do have a few Pokemon in here that are legendaries. As you guys know, there are going to be new Pokemon, or new, like, forms for legendary Pokemon, rather. There's going to be new stuff like that. So, I thought, why not include my favorite Pokemon on this list? Uh, also a design made by Skull Hattie, and that is Lugia, of course. So, this is a design which makes Lugia into kind of like a mixture, almost, between Lugia and, like... I guess like Kyogre almost, like it's got like the kind of Kyogre-esque type fins like on its like, you know, eyes or whatever. Uh, but this actually would make it fit more with like water typing, uh, which I think would work well here. Um, and I guess keeping like Psychic on that would make sense in my opinion. Um, and making it more like watery, you know, just like a water type, like just chilling in the water. Um, would make a lot of sense. I, I'm, I'm digging this design. I'm really digging it. Though I would prefer like if we got Shadow Luga in there, wink wink, you know what I mean? But hey, you know, I take this as well. I think it's a cool design. Let's go to the next one. So coming up next is a Pokemon that we've mentioned in part one, and that's going to be Donphan. Donphan and also its evolution. But ladies and gentlemen, here we have a little bit of a different design. Last time it was more like a Dumbo design. Here we've got like a, a Donphan and like, you know, just kind of, kind of like a more water type style to it. Like more of like a water design, um, as you guys can see. Where like the snout, I guess, would work a little bit like a cannon of sorts to shoot out like a hydro pump or something in that you know sense and i think that actually would really be really cool i think honestly it would work really well i i really don't see any issue with this i think it honestly would be really cool to see like don fan just gain some sort of like water typing um as like i don't know what right now like what the usefulness really is in don fan like in terms of typing and all that sort of stuff like what's the real usefulness in this but like maybe the water typing could add something to it i mean maybe not that much but who knows maybe it could add a lot to it so what do you guys think about it and next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have the most badass, most badass of designs you will ever see, ladies and gentlemen. We've got uh, Ludicolo looking like a straight-up gentleman, like a straight-up gentleman, okay? Uh, so these designs have got a little bit of like an Amish vibe to them in a, in a sense. I mean, I'm not sure why I say that. Or like more like a gardener slash like upper, upper class, you know, uh, like gentleman and then, I don't know, like a thuggy little... <laughs> Like a little little thug at the end, but basically it's it's like a gardener Ludicolo, right? Like you, you know, sorry, like it's like a gar it's like a gentleman Ludicolo, um, and I don't know what to say about that. It just looks odd, okay? And I think that would be really cool. And uh, we already know that Ludicolo is in the game. We've already seen them. Lotad is also in there, right? So we already know these guys are in the game, um, you know, and you can already catch them and get them and all that sort of stuff. But what if there actually was a little bit of change there? What if you know? What if we possibly could have? A, a another form of this showing up in like the Isle of Armor or the Crown Tundra that actually is like a Galarian form to it. So what do you guys think about that? Do you think that would be reasonable? Do you think it would work? Do you think it's worthwhile? Let me know in the comment section down below because I don't know man, I think it would be cool. And next up, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be Pharaoh and Sparrow. Oh, um, boy. Okay, so this is actually one of the coolest designs on this list, I will say. This is made by Skull Hattie as well. And, uh, man, I've got to say, bro, like, making them kind of, like, like reddish, blackish, like, as we had with, like, the Spinarak and, you know, like, uh, Eridos or whatever. Doing the same thing here, actually, I think looks really, really cool. And, again, it works. Like, I think it actually works. Like, the black and red, it just... It just works so well, man. Like, it's just a cool way to match colors. It's just a perfect match in terms of colors. And here, it works really well, I think. Honestly, it looks nice, it looks cool, and I dig it. So, I don't know about you guys, as for how this would work within the region, I don't really know, like, how we could implement this. But honestly, maybe it's a, you know, maybe, like, 
it's changed in a way where it can handle wind better. Maybe that's the whole point, right? So it can handle the wind in the Crown Tundra a little bit better. Maybe something like that. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Let's go to the next one. And ending off this list is going to be a design by JW Nuts, who made a Magby line regional variant, which I think looks sick. As you guys can see, like Magmar, Magmatar, like they just look cool. Basically, what he's done here is make them electric type. Basically, kind of do a little bit of a switcheroo with its kind of like counterpart, which would be, I guess, uh, Elekid's kind of evolutionary, uh, evolutionary line, right? So, like, it's like a counterpart to it, making it electric. And I'm a big fan of this, honestly. I think it looks really sick. Uh, and honestly, why, why not, man? Why not do a little bit of a switcheroo? Like, switch the two around and give, like, you know, <laughs> give Magby's line a electric type. I think it would look really sick. So, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think about that? So, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you did enjoy it, make sure to slap the like button down below to, uh, you know, uh, reassure yourself that you'll get more of these videos whenever they pop up. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have yourselves a great day. I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day, and bye-bye, ladies and gentlemen.